Welcome to a fun Friday game. This is Name the Ingredient. Boys, in front of you, there are 17 versions of a similar category of ingredient. You're going to take it in turns to name them. Okay. Now, you can look and you can smell, but the moment you touch a plate or what is on it, you must commit to a okay. name. Okay. Okay. We've got you some lives, so it's not instant elimination, <laughs> but let's see who can get the most correct. Boys, remove yeah. your blindfolds as we play Name the Cured Meat. Ooh. Oh! Damn, this is going to be hard. <laughs> okay. To decide who goes first, I'm going to toss. Oh, well, I'm going to strange the light and then <laughs> couldn't see it. Sports. <laughs> Look at that, I completely lost it. I'm going to do it that way. I'm going to toss a coin. Yeah, away from camera. Great, well done. Who wants heads? Uh, heads or tails? Heads. Jamie, heads or tails? Heads. Uh, tails, which means, Barry, you can choose. Do you want to go first or second? I will go first, Evers. In which case, name an ingredient. The first thing I am going to choose is... <laughs> I knew it. Billy Bear Ham. Correct. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not having this since I was a kid. Just 66% pork. What's the other 33%? Pork? Water and potato starch and other things. But it is uh, a classic, especially in the UK, um, uh, for a sandwich filler for kids. Yes! After a winning start. Oh, He's committed to Whoa. touching it. What Another, is it? It's, it's heavily processed again. Corned beef. He did it before committing to tongue. It is corned beef. So we're talking brisket of beef that's brined and then slow cooked and often pressed back together. It's so tense. <gasps> oh, he's committing. Very similar to Billy Bear. <laughs> 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 this is mortadella, mortadello, mortadella. Mortadella. So it is an Italian oh, cured is meat, uh, originally from Bologna. The Americans might know it as bologna, even. Is that what bologna is? From Bologna. Yeah, bologna. I had no idea Americans talk about mortadella for um, ham. The little white mm. flecks in it is uh, throat fat from the pig. It is a cooked and sort of processed ham <laughs> or meat. <laughs> and sometimes you'll find it with flecks of pistachio in it, mm -hmm. not mm. this one. Mm. Mm. Yeah. Incredible. Thank you for that, Ben. Correct. Still no lives lost. Jamie, it's your turn. Come on, Jay. One staring in the face, and if it's wrong, I'll be so happy. <laughs> <laughs> He's committed. Please be wrong. Please be wrong. It's chorizo. It is. We're talking about a Spanish pork product, spiced with paprika, garlic, sometimes hot, sometimes more of the sweet paprika. Barry, I feel like we've just got rid of all of the <laughs> fairly obvious ones. That's staring me in the face. We recently learnt it, and I've forgotten it. A carbonara isn't complete without it. Okay. Ooh. Ooh. Barry dishing out the clues. Yeah, okay. I'm almost hoping your positivity might just like yeah. remind yeah. myself. So I'm yeah. saying these things. Well, what you've done by doing that is giving me the answer. So thank you. Word association. <laughs> what are you? Carbonara <laughs> equals. Jamie now has it, but it's Barry's turn. Scream at me. Okay. No, not that one. Oh. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> Mmm. Oh. oh, he's committed to eating it. What is it? Parma ham. Incorrect. Life lost. No! Parma ham is... So confident. ...an Italian cured and dried leg of pork. That is not what that is. Jamie well, is committed to the no! one that... I haven't committed. I haven't touched it. You oh, you've touched up. the plate. I've touched the Jamie plate. Jamie's I haven't you touched committed. it. No. No, same, same. No, same, what, same, really? Same, same, you selected them. The, the rules, you, the rules are really clear. If you wind back and listen to the rules, they were very oh. clear. Well, the moment you touch a plate or what is on it, you must commit. Go on, be wrong, go on. Oh. At least you get out of the way for me, because you've been bothering me. But I think you've got this because Barry yeah. gave you the hint. Well, now I just have to hope that you got the right dish. Because if you got the right dish, I've got the right answer. But if it's the wrong dish, <laughs> <laughs> then me saying, Guan Charlie yeah. is not going to be the right answer. Thank you. Which is the cured jowl of pork. Absolutely. Correct. Yes. Yes, I was right. <laughs> so you also have some of the other herbs of the area and uh, black pepper, 
It is an incredibly fatty, rich meat, but that fat renders down beautifully when you cook it. Baz. We're in, we're in trouble we're now. We're in trouble now. Oh! Oh, he's committed. Has to be pepperoni. Correct. Yes! <laughs> an American take, traditionally, on an Italian cured meat, and it has that spice of uh, pepper throughout it. Obviously, a classic ingredient on pizza. Correct. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I know, I know, I know, I know. That's the most, that's the most embarrassing one to get wrong. I know, <laughs> so that's obvious. why I'm worried about it. Have a nibble. He's, commi he's committed, Have a nibble. he's committed. Does it taste like you expected? Yes. <laughs> Does it help? No. <laughs> I'm going to say a word. <laughs> Ham. <laughs> Correct. <laughs> yeah, I'm done. I'm done. <laughs> so this is more English in its nature. It is either wet or dry cured. So wet in a brine or dry and salted. And then more importantly, cooked. So it is a cooked ham. Cool, cooked ham. Sometimes it's got that kind of breadcrumb topping. Sometimes it's honey roasted. Sometimes it is smoked. Shut but up. Ham is what we're going for. Oh, he committed straight in there. And what are we getting? Oh, it's wonderful. I've got a word, but I don't know if it represents a particular type of sausage or a selection. Salami. Salami literally has the, the stem of the root salt in it. We've learned that recently. It's a combination of pork, fat and seasonings, often with spices and herbs and even wine or vinegar that's fermented, then put into a casing and left to ferment further and dry. It is salami. Oh, yes! Oh, correct. Well done. You get lots of different types of salami. Absolutely. Mm. So this is pork salami. You could also have veal salami, goose salami, oh, okay. horse salami, depending on different regions. And the spices and herbs might change, but this is an Italian salami. I'm going to go out on a limb. Which limb are you going out on? This one. Ooh! That's what I was going to go for next as well. I need you to name an ingredient. Brazil. Oh, it's I can go for. Correct. Yes! So we are talking well done. beef. Ooh. Again, cured and dried. And it is done as a whole joint, as opposed to chopped up like a salami and then cured. Uh, and it's from the top of the leg or the bottom of the bum, basically. That kind of top round area. Come on, Baz. Baz, you're still alive down. Which one are you going for? Oh, he's touched it. Mmm. Mm. Tricky. So fatty, so delicious. Very, very fatty. Prosciutto? Is another name for Parma ham, which is what you used to describe this and got it wrong. For this plate, it is also wrong. So, Parma ham and prosciutto are the same the thing. same thing. Prosciutto means ham. This is the danger yeah. of language. Yeah. <laughs> you should have sticked to ham. <laughs> <laughs> So, no, Baz, you lose another life, and it is Jamie's go. That cured meat stays on the table. If you're enjoying this, there are some small things you can do that make a big difference to us. Like the video. Subscribe if you aren't. Click the notification bell and select all. Thanks. I still can't smell that one. Not very smelly, is it? No. I'm going to have to take a gamble because I can't get to that one to smell it properly, so I'm going to have to taste <gasps> it. And then commit to it. it. It's mine. smoky, it's fatty, it's pork. I'm gonna go with Parma ham. Barry used Parma ham earlier on this plate and was wrong. Yeah. You've used it on that plate yeah. and are also wrong. Oh, oh, what is it then? This is a danger when you go to the supermarket and you get that multi pack collection <laughs> of meat. Have I got the Italian one? Have I, I got know. the Spanish one? Eh? Bold. I think you've eaten most of these cured meats before, perhaps not all of them. That is a vegan cured meat. That <laughs> there is laughter is from not behind the camera. A vegan cured meat, and I'm very, very sorry to this nation. Because I've got a country in mind for that one. I don't know what it is. I haven't got a clue what that is. Even after eating it, I'm no more aware of what that was. He's committing. He's sniffing, he's touched it, he's chewed it. I just need him to name the ingredient. You get that, that's really impressive. It's a German sausage. 
I like the broad strokes you're taking there, given that okay. Germany is popular for dozens, if not hundreds, of sausage. If that was your answer, mm. which oh, it is, yeah. I'm not sure I could give it to you. It's wrong anyway. It's not from Germany. Why say it's German? I just thought it was. <laughs> <laughs> you're going to eat it again. We're going back. <laughs> it is delicious. Pancetta. It is pancetta. Okay. So, less commonly eaten raw, although it's absolutely fine to do so, it is a cured belly pork. Mm -hmm. Can be smoked, can be unsmoked, more commonly unsmoked. Is there any here you're confident on? No. I've tried that one and I've got it wrong. I haven't tried this one. Good strategy game here. He's going in for the other one that is similar. Oh God, it's bloody delicious. <laughs> Berico. Mm. We're going to have to be strict, given it's named the ingredient, mm. and if I gave it to you, the Spanish would be fuming. It is not Iberico. In Spain, we have that all the time, and all we call it is expensive ham, because <laughs> that's the way that we got Finn to, that's the way that we got Finn yeah. to eat it. Can I not just call that expensive ham? It is more expensive per kilo than the ham that we had. It's the not way. Iberico, you lose a life. You've both lost three lives. There are only five lives to lose. Baz, it's your go. Oh, good luck, he's touched it. This is absolutely delicious. Oh, wow. I'm not, I'm not, I've never had this before. It I'd is, assume it's from a cow. Correct. It is a beef product, it is cured beef. Annoyingly, my answer was, was going to be cured beef. <laughs> <laughs> so, Expensive oh, no. oh, yeah. <laughs> Not as heavily cured and therefore more moist and succulent than the brazola that you've already identified, mm. but obviously it is more cured than perhaps something like a carpaccio, which is just raw slices. Any ideas? Cowpat. You don't know, you've thrown a word out there. It's incorrect, <laughs> four lives gone. Oh. It remains on the table. <clears throat> Jog your memory, there's still, I think, three on the table that you would or should get. It's one of these two and one of those two. But they're just not names I've absorbed? No. I've just eaten. <laughs> <laughs> Why is this so hard? Oh, I don't know. You can do. Go for it, please. It. I kind of want you to get it. Again, do you think you can identify the animal? It's so annoying because I know it. I know exactly what it is. Uh, I just can't think of any more names. Uh, this is this is an embarrassing video now. Ben, is that Parma ham? It is not Parma <laughs> No! <laughs> Four lives gone, you've got one life left. Baz, what are you going for? He's committed to that. It's very long, thin, bent in the half <laughs> sausage. <laughs> Not what I thought it was. I thought it was a, a Chinese hung sausage. Hungarian sausage. Again, you're naming a country rather than a product. You're wrong. Five lives gone. Barry, you have been eliminated. Have I? Oh, no. Jamie, Jamie. you have had yes. one guess less than Barry. That one smells Spanish. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. One of those seven meats we fed you in pretty much that seat seven days ago. <laughs> we filmed a uh, thing in August. You didn't put that in a pancake, did you? Didn't put that in a pancake. <laughs> Turkish. Push, that's not Turkish. That's not Turkish. That's it's got to be Turkish. What? <laughs> it's got to be, we didn't. It's got to be Turkish. <laughs> <laughs> this one. Yeah! Oh, that's got to be Turkish. That's got to be Turkish. Right. <laughs> oh. Which, so Jamie, now, last guess. Yeah. That you ate two weeks ago. That yeah. you ate a week ago. <laughs> oh, come on. <laughs> Barry's just eating now. He's committed. Yeah, oh, This is gonna be... Definitely Turkish. It's not vegan. <laughs> it's definitely not vegan. <laughs> ah, yeah, it's... Um, it's called One. like a sesnit or something like that. Sujuk. Yeah, that one. Yeah, 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 yeah. 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 Very close. Yeah. That is a Turkish cured sausage. It can be served hot or cold. It's beef, it's sujuk. We did have it last week in this very studio on the Turkish spread. That was not our finest hour. That's really not. Yeah. Shall I put you out of some misery? Yes. Please. This one, your expensive Spanish ham, mm -hmm. Serrano. Oh! That is embarrassing. That's really embarrassing. For everyone yeah. involved. And we thought that the closest to that was that one, which is oak smoked, but otherwise incredibly similar. 
but not from Spain, from very, very northern Italy, sometimes also Austria or Germany, it is speck. Oh, oh of course. Oh, I hate oh. this bit. <laughs> the one just down from that yep. is it? copper. Is it? C-O-P-A. C-O-P-P-A. Yeah. <laughs> 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 this one, it's polio sauce is called cabanos. Cabanos. The one there, Barry, you were right on Spain. It's got that lick of smoked paprika around it. Okay, so Lomo and Machada, and I, 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 not one that rolls off the tongue for me either. That was kind of not new to me, but I don't think I've ever actually eaten it. And this final one, it's Italian, it is beef, and it's the one that I had never heard of. It is Manzo de Pozza. Okay, wow. Lightly air dried beef. It essentially melts on your tongue. That is it's incredible. amazing. Well done on the Billy Bear hand, Baz. <laughs> Thanks, mate. <laughs> oh, oh. How many would you have gotten? If you, if you were in our position, how many yeah, could yeah. you have confidently Be honest with yourselves. Got? It's not as easy as it looks. And comment down below, what other categories of food should we play Name That Ingredient with next? Bugs not being the next one, that's <laughs> hard. Winner stays on. Ah! Oh. You drew? Yeah. Oh, bugger. <laughs>